Welcome to the main quest easter egg guide for Die Machine. This was completed two hours after its release on the 13th of November by Noah J456, Geeky Pastimes, Codename Pizza and Starburst. I'm making the main quest easter egg guide now just before the intel one because there are various bits of intel within the main easter egg. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the intel video that's going to be released next, but on to the main quest guide. So I'm going to run you through how to do the easter egg on solo as quick as possible. So the first step will be to build Pack-a-Punch. You can do this by going through the first ether portal that spawns, Travelling down the ether tunnel that the game points out to you, picking up the machine part and building the pack punch. Now on the second portal that spawns, you'll want to build the ether scope. The portal that spawns decides where the first part of the ether scope will be. If the portal is on the power button, the first part will be in the vent area. If the portal spawns in pond, the first part will be on the plane body. Or if the first portal is at the top of Nacdor and Toten, the first part will be under the stairs. Now to get the second part, depending on where your first part was, you can check the different portal locations and there will be some text written in Dark Matter to tell you where the next piece will be. Or you can just check the other two locations yourself. Only one piece spawns at a time so you'll only have a 50-50 chance of getting it right. If you're quick, you'll be able to do this within one portal. Be careful as when you pick up a etherscope part, roughly six to seven dogs do spawn. As a tip, take one of these dogs down to the nuke room underneath the nuke where Deadshot Daiquiri is, where there's a canister just down the corridor, kill a dog near this canister, and you'll be able to capture its Nova gas. This is just so that you don't have to do it later on once you place the canister. So now that you have the ether scope parts, make your way back to the Pack-a-Punch area. Just underneath the Pack-a-Punch will be a workstation. You can now build the ether scope. Collect the ether scope and now the portal in Medbay will spawn. Use the portal in Medbay and collect Vogel's diary. Now you will need to activate three spectres. The first spectre is just underneath where you picked up the diary, just to the right near the big window. The second spectre is in the trial room, just to the right of the computer. And the third spectre is at the workbench you built the etherscope at. You will have a special zombie here now called Mayak. As another tip, you can take Mayak to the fungus just outside Nacdo and Toten and have him shoot the fungus for the ice upgrade. So I definitely do recommend doing that. You don't actually have to kill Mayak. He will despawn as soon as you come out of the Dark Aether. Once the third spectre has ended, you will be forced out of the Dark Aether. Now you'll need to get the Die Wonder Weapon. What I recommend first of all is doing the Dancing Zombie Easter Egg. If you don't know how to do that, we do have a guide on this channel. Go check that out. It does have a chance to drop the die wonder weapon. So by doing that Easter egg, you might have a chance to get the die early. If you do, great. If you don't, there's also another chance to get the die wonder weapon. So if you didn't get it from the dancing zombie Easter egg, you will need to get the free die wonder weapon. That's a part of the quest line. Go through the rounds until a Megaton spawns. Kill the Megaton and the splits and the keycard will drop from the second Megaton split. Pick up this keycard and take it to the weapons testing area where you'll put the keycard in the machine and grab the remote control. The remote control activates the Die Wonder weapon in Nacdo and Toten, but it does need quite a few kills to actually open the door for you. So if you're just holding a zombie, kill that zombie, do a train in the yard area once you've got a decent amount of zombies or the full wave, take them into Nact, activate the Die Wonder weapon so that it sucks their energy. Once it's complete, activate the Die Wonder weapon again and you will be able to retrieve the Wonder weapon. Now that you have this, shoot the crate on top of Nacdo and Toten to get the vial and also suck the canister that's on the second floor of Nacdo and Toten 
to get the empty canister. Pick up the vial and place it under the fungus that you activated earlier. Now this is timed so you just have to wait roughly 30 seconds to a minute for this to fill up. Whilst you're doing that you can take the canister down to the nuke room and fill the canister with the nova gas that you captured earlier. You can now take this canister to just outside Nakdon Toten where there's a crate covered in vines. Place the canister on top and either knife it or shoot it to ex make it explode. You will now have access to the Nova 6 Wonder Weapon upgrade. Pick up this upgrade and make your way back to the tree fungus where the vial should now be filled. Pick up the vial and take it to Medbay. There will be a crate in Medbay that has some chains on it. Apply the vial to the chains to break the chains. This will unlock the ice upgrade. Before you take the ice upgrade, head up to the computer again and input the password. The computer will now say that there is insufficient power. You have to activate the capacitors. You can do this by shooting the capacitors with the colour coded wonder weapon upgrades. So there'll be a capacitor that is red, which is the fire upgrade, yellow for the electricity upgrade, blue for the ice upgrade and green for the nova upgrade. You can now shoot the green capacitor with the nova upgrade. Once the capacitor is in the upright position, go and collect the ice upgrade that you unlocked earlier and shoot the blue capacitor with the ice upgrade. Whilst you are doing this, two ether portals should already be on the map. These are for the fire upgrade and the electricity upgrade. Make sure to switch back to the normal wonder weapon ammo type by just holding use on the ice upgrade box now and make your way down to the bottom of Pack-a-Punch where there'll be an ether portal. So for this upgrade, there'll be three crystals on the map that are glowing orange. There is one in the pond area, one in the crash site, and one at the top of Nagda and Totem. These only glow orange when you enter the portal that's below Pack-a-Punch. Now, this upgrade's a little bit tricky. I do recommend that you have a plan in your head where you want to go. My strategy is to go through the ether tunnel that's in the Pack-a-Punch room so that I get teleported to the bottom of Nagda and Toten, run to the top, suck the energy out of the crystal, make my way back down to the ether tunnel, go through, shoot it into the box that is in the back right corner on the first floor, go through the ether tunnel in Medbay, run to the second crystal, suck the energy out of that crystal, go back down to the ether tunnel, then shoot that energy into the box, and then third and finally going into the nuke room, again going through the ether tunnel, sucking the energy out of the crystal in pond, but this time you won't have a chance to get back through the ether tunnel, it'll back you out into the real world. This is fine as you'll be able to shoot the energy into the box, it doesn't despawn whilst you're not in the dark ether so you're fine. Once you've shot the third and final energy into the box, you'll now have access to the electricity upgrade. Collect this and shoot the yellow capacitor in Medbay. Now for the final upgrade, you'll want to make your way out to Pond, where there'll be another Dark Ether portal. Use this Dark Ether portal and make your way over to Crash Site. Next to the Ether Tunnel, there'll be a box with a fuse in it. You need to shoot or melee this box to open it up and collect the fuse. Either go through the Ether Tunnel or make your way to the Nuke Room. Just across from Deadshot Daiquiri, will be a machine, a laser cutting machine. Use the fuse on this machine and it will start cutting the box. Once complete, it will automatically back you out, out of the dark ether and now you can make your way to pond where there'll be a crate on top of a truck that you can now access to get the fire upgrade. Once you've got the fire upgrade, make your way back down to Medbay to shoot the final red capacitor on the Wetchler machine. Once you've done this, the computer will now say that it needs a decontamination agent. An ether portal will spawn in the bottom of Medbay. Use this and head up to the top of Medbay where you'll see another spectre. Once you've watched this cutscene, the dark ether wrench will drop. Pick up this dark ether wrench and head to spawn. You will need to use this dark ether wrench three times on the tank in spawn. A zombie will pop out of the top that you'll need to kill. Then you'll need to apply an explosive on the hatch. 
I used a Semtex and the ray gun. I'm sure you can do it with a C4 as well. Just apply the explosive to the hatch and then the tank will fire. This will knock out the decontamination agent out of the tree in crash site. Make your way over to crash site, pick up the decontamination agent and carry it all the way back to medbay. Place it in the cabinet where it's stored and now the computer will tell you that it needs a subject. The subject is a split megaton. Now you'll need to get both halves of the megaton, so make sure you go through rounds and as soon as a megaton spawns, take it to medbay where you can split it quite comfortably and then get both halves into a blue circle on the floor and they'll be sucked into the Wetchler machine. Head back up to the computer and initiate the lockdown. The two halves of the Megaton will now form into one. This will be a friendly Megaton called Orlov. Once the cutscene plays out, he'll run to the particle accelerator where the lights are now off. You'll now need to go to Nakdor and Toten. I do recommend going through particle accelerator to get there just so it initiates a voice line. I've had it in the past where my game has glitched uh, and I believe it's because I didn't activate this voice line but I could be wrong. Once you're in Nakdor and Toten, you'll find another ether portal. Use this and go into the box room. To the right in the corner, you'll find another spectre. Interact with the spectre to play all of cutscene. Once this has been complete, it will drop a family photo. Do not pick this up just yet. Picking this up will activate the boss fight. And if you're not prepared, you'll be taken into the boss fight with completely the wrong gear. You can pick up this family photo whenever you want, so just make sure you're geared enough, got the right perks, got the right guns. I do recommend having one of the upgrades, um, possibly the Nova upgrade, as you will need to shoot uh, a bunch of zombies in an area. So once you are geared, you can now go into the boss fight. The boss fight consists of defending all of at three separate locations within the power room. I found this incredibly easy on a low round. All I had to do was kill the Megatons and make sure to kill the dogs as well. And then once they were clear, I just cleared out the zombies around all of, and he was able to do his thing at those three locations. I just made sure to survive the boss zombies. Once all of us completed his third and final act of destruction on the particle accelerator, he will then tell you to get out. So there is a specific route to this, so make sure you are paying attention in your game as hitting the electricity can stun you and do a lot of damage, so you don't really want to go down in this section of the easter egg. Clear out the zombies that are in front of you whilst you're making your way to the exfil zone, avoiding the electricity. Once you get to the exfil zone, you can instantly get on the helicopter and make your way out of the map. The easter egg will now be complete for you. I was able to do this, I was able to do this on round 16, but as I said previously, you are able to unlock the boss fight at around round 8. This easter egg is not the hardest, so hopefully you don't have any troubles, but if you do, just make sure you practice, make sure you're geared for the boss fight, and you should not have any problems whatsoever. So, that is the full easter egg guide. My next guide will be the full intel guide. As you've probably seen already within the easter egg, there are a few artifacts that you do collect throughout the easter egg so I wanted to make sure I did this video first before I did the full intel guide just so people can get reference as to where and when to collect the artifacts. I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide. If you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them the best I can. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.